Hello and welcome to my short video with Step by Step by Miriam. In this short video I'm going to show you how to use a VLOOKUP function. A VLOOKUP function is used when you have a table. For example, in this cell range we have a table here. And this is a table of grades. If they have scored 0% in the exam they get an F. If they have achieved 55% they get a D-. minus. If they've scored 60 they get a D and so on. And as you can see, in column G, I have the results of the exams for all the various students. And what I would like Excel to do is I would like Excel to put in the relevant grade in cell H2. And I can do that by using a VLOOKUP formula. Because a VLOOKUP formula will look up values in a table. And it will then put the values according to those lookup columns and return the values of the second column into the cell. For example, have a look. My first step really in doing any formula is to put in the equal sign. There's no formula in the Excel program that will work without it. So always begin your formulas with the equal sign. So it's equal V lookup. V look up and open brackets. And V look up what? We would like Excel to start V look up from, from this cell from G2. So it's very important we ask it to look for the cell from the left, then so we must put in a comma now, then go to the VLOOKUP table, which has already been sorted in ascending order by the first column. And again, because it's a VLOOKUP table, I need to make it absolute. And you can make the table absolute by pressing the F4 function key on your keyboard. So we press F4. So after you've gone to the table Excel, then, so we put in another comma, then go to the second column, so we put in a 2, and then simply close the brackets. So our formula really says, look, put in the VLOOKUP, starting in cell G2, then go to the VLOOKUP cell range from J2 to K8, then go to the second column, enter. And as you can see, Excel inserts the correct grade. And all we simply do now is click into cell H2, which has the correct formula, as you can see here on the formula bar. It says equals VLOOKUP G2, comma, and then the absolute cell range from J2 to K8, another comma, and then 2. So all we simply do is go into the cell using our little fill handle and drag it the whole way down. And Excel will put in all the correct results the entire way down. So it's a very fast way of actually using any table. Thank you for watching the video and look out for my next video where I'm going to show you why sometimes you need to put in an extra dimension into that formula to protect the formula from returning a false result. So that will be my VLOOKUP using false. Thank you for watching the video and have a little practice